I wanted a 12 volt relatively high pressure pump to do some solar work. This one is uh, 0.8 megapascals or 116 pounds per square inch at 12 volts. And yeah, so uh, it was uh, a little under $10, eight bucks call it. And yeah, I got this and it took forever to arrive, but uh, the problem, well, there's a couple problems with it. One of them is quality. Uh, when I got it, it wasn't packaged. Uh, in fact, one of these caps had fallen off, and there's supposed to be a little protector cap to keep the water inside of it. That was gone. It was knocked loose. And I don't know if you can see, but on this side, the, the crack in the case is bigger than this case. This crack over here on this side, or the seam, I should say. This seam is open. This seam is closed. And, well, let's zoom in, because the biggest problem is the connector right here. And, uh, Let's, yeah, let's zoom in and uh, I can show you better what's going on there. The first issue is the uh, type of tube that you would need for 116 PSI or 0.8 megapascals is something like this stuff. Um, and look at this. Watch this. Yeah, I mean, that, there's just nothing there securing the tube on there. I mean, this would have to be this spear would have to be twice as long or pretty close to twice as long to get a good connection there and yeah um, that's uh, one issue okay the other thing is I thought oh, okay I'll just ditch this and I will uh, screw some plumbing fixture on here the problem is that I can't measure the threads per inch or threads uh, thread pitch on here because none of my metric or standard gauges fit this thread and none of the standard plumbing fittings I have will fit that. Um, yeah, so I can't even jerry-rig something on there. And then let's look at the final issue. This cap, which is supposed to secure the tube on here uh, with just pressure, this hole is too small for this tube. And you say, well, just drill it out, right? And then you can screw it on there and it'll uh, press it up against the spear and you know, maybe it'll stay on there, or maybe it won't. You know, I personally, I think at 116 PSI, I just blow right off there. But okay, uh, maybe I'm wrong. But by the time I drill out this hole to allow it to fit this tubing, yeah, there's nothing left to, uh, to grip. So, yeah, uh, basically, this is unusable except for, you know, maybe you know, some really low pressure application, a fountain, a uh, uh, fish tank, <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe uh, pumping some water in a garden or something, but yeah, I, uh, I can't see it being used for anything, you know, uh, at, at any kind of reasonable pressure, um, you know, 0.4, uh, you know, 80 pounds, I, yeah, I don't even think it'd do that, so. Let me cut to the chase. Uh, I can't recommend this because you, know, you can't uh, really rely on this at high pressure. The fact that they use non-standard threads means that you uh, can't uh, adapt or jerry-rig something on there. Uh, I thought about drilling this out and tapping it, but uh, by the time I did that, I would have uh, 1.5 millimeters of plastic left, and yeah, that just wasn't enough, uh, I don't think, to uh, hold back any real pressure. Um, yeah, so quality, non-standard, and you know, just this kind of, well, I don't know, not a, not a sound connection for higher pressures. Uh, I just, yeah, I just can't recommend it. So um, I hope that uh, helps you avoid kind of uh, time loss, money loss, and headaches uh, buying something that just won't work for you. Okay, well that was it for this video. Hope you found it useful and interesting.